Welcome back, folks. We completed the Engineering Corps playthrough, so like we did for the Mobile Infantry and the Armored Corps, I figured we should do an evaluation of the Engineering Corps. And we'll go through each ability that we can get, uh, one by one, and just talk a little bit about those. So the first one is Electric Fences for uh, one point, or one doctrine point. point. Uh, the electric fences I didn't find that useful because we so rarely got attacked at our at the places where we had fences. So I didn't find those particularly useful, uh, though I'm sure they could be very useful if you do get attacked a lot. Uh, then we have the dual bar barbed wire also for one doctrine point. And the dual barbed wire could be good uh, when you're out and about uh, attacking to set up some uh, temporary defensive lines, I think it could be very useful. Uh, we didn't use it that much because I think we had it pretty well in hand, but certainly if a major horde comes uh, crashing in, then the dual barbed wire could be very, very good. Then we have the next one, the 40% price drop uh, that costs two doctrine points. So that's a monetary price drop, not the DNA stuff. I think the 40% price drop is fantastic. I mean, 40% off everything that you buy with money, I'll take that anytime. Excellent, excellent uh, thing to have. Then we have the active denial system. Uh, which costs three points. We didn't really use that at all. Uh, so it's something that you'd set up at the base or at anywhere that you would be defending. And if a horde came in, you could activate it and it would stun. Uh, so I think it could be very useful if you get attacked a lot at your bases, but we didn't. So that's why we didn't really use it. But other than that, I think it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. Then we have the next one, which is mortars. It costs four doctrine points, and the mortars are outstanding. Two mortars will take down a spawning pod, uh, so I really, really like the mortars. They are quite expensive. They cost 12,000 apiece, but they are well worth it. The only drawback to them, in my opinion, is that you can't see which one you're retargeting when you, when you have one selected. You can't see which uh which well what, what's it called the the indicator for where it's shooting you can't see which one it is that you have selected i already uh, wrote to the devs about it uh, suggesting that they change the color of the one that you have selected uh, the target indicator of the one you have selected or make it pulse so you can see okay it's this one i'm going to st stop firing if i decide to move it so uh, and uh, the devs said that they would uh, look into getting that done. So I'm very happy about that because it's, it's when you have, I think I had 12 or 15 mortars at some point, and not knowing which one you're moving is, is really annoying. Because what if you're uh, moving one that you actually needed to stay there? So yeah. Uh, then we have the Dragon Gunship, which costs five Doctrine Points. I think the Dragon Gunship can be very good. Uh, I misused it. Um, I didn't really understand how it worked, I think. Uh, but I think it could be very, very good uh, when you do. So you need to have someone uh, with eyes on so that the Dragon Gunship can find targets. Uh, and so you have to get into the, the ring of where the Dragon Gunship can actually aim and you have to kind of guide where it will be shooting. So I think it could be very, very good if you use it the correct way and not stupidly like I did. Uh, then last but definitely not least, we have the gas attack. It costs six doctrine points and they are so well worth it. The gas attack is absolutely amazing. Just drop a gas attack anywhere where you're going to push in and basically all the infected will will start dying and dying quick. So you won't have that much uh, opposition. So that is, is very, very useful. Uh, do make sure that you have bought the uh, 
gas masks for your soldiers though or they will die along with the infected so make sure you do that yeah and also for both mortars and dragon gunship keep in mind that there is friendly fire here i ran a couple of times i ran through a mortar uh, target and i basically killed uh, half my squad so don't do that uh, Make sure to go around or stop your mortar firing when you want to uh, walk through. And again, that comes back to being able to see which one am I actually going to uh, tell to stop fire. So if you select uh, a mortar, make it another color or pulse so that you can see, okay, this is the one I want to stop firing so that I can walk through. So yeah, uh, all in all, I think the engineering core is pretty good uh i think i still prefer uh, the mobile infantry but with the gas attacks and the mortars i do see definite value in playing as the engineering core i think it it was good and and we did win the game so so yeah definitely a viable choice that is all for uh, this evaluation so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.